Remind me about the seal? Now that you have the moon seal, seek out the glyph to place it in. That is something. Titus was among the first of the Elder Gods born at the dawn of our world. And unfortunately for him, he was also the first among them to die. How does an Elder God die? He was consumed by another Elder God. In this case, his own brother, Set. Lovely. I'm afraid we might not make it back from there. something.
by consuming Hypus, Set absorbed his brother's power, but also triggered the and became demons. Welcome assistance. falling apart I mentioned during the last trial that most of the was corrupted a tomb was born and sent to destroy them when he was done he released their energy back to the stars and now they watch in silence from above while I fight for their amusement who am I to speculate on their intentions so they, I'd say they <laughs> There was a time when Lilith had the highest extent of the dominion. That time has clearly passed. Mother abandoned. Leave some for the rest. You should be all the more prepared for whatever Lilith has planned in the coming days.
saw move like that once, centuries ago. my call. I'm sure Hippus will be pleased. You've proven yourself more than capable. All will be restored. Hippus will provide. Perhaps I ask too much of him. Hippus brings renewal. Blessings of Hippus. Autumn must not see it that way. She does not see it happening. He is in agreement. He is in agreement. will be restored. Hippus brings renewal. Hippus does not seem to agree. If his help was warranted, Hippus would provide. 
The god's latest gift seems to be quite powerful. I've already removed a great deal of corruption afflicting the grounds nearby. I've noticed. I take it that means the latest trial wasn't much of an obstacle for our legendary hunter and their faithful companion. We were ready for what awaited us. The power of renewal is indeed a remarkable thing, especially when facing such an insidious problem. But how did this corruption come to spread across the grounds in the first place? I mentioned before that Wanda had... visions, after absorbing the power of the Moon Seal at my altar. But it's obvious now I didn't truly understand the depths of what she was experiencing. What do you think really happened here? I've told you that Wanda wasn't a descendant of the Blood. In truth, her magic was born in chaos, from the touch of the Dark God Cthon himself. I fear this connection between them was even stronger than I imagined. She cannot be blamed for something out of her control. Of course not. Just look at the group we have working with us here. Everyone deserves a chance to prove who they really are. It is done now in any case. We can only move forward from here. Renewing the grounds is already an important step forward for us. Wanda's visions. Were they part of her ties to Cthon? Do you know what it is she saw? She described them like a dream. Broken, distorted images that she could only remember in passing. But you're right, Hunter. I believe now it was Cthon who came to her. His influence strengthened by the power of the seal she absorbed. And the corruption on the grounds, this was his influence? It seems almost too clear now. The corruption on the grounds returned just as Wanda's explorations reached their peak. Was there nothing in her journal about this? Maybe we've gotten ahead of her. I should return to the library and continue the translations. Come by tomorrow and I'll let you know if I've found anything new. Blessings of Hippus. What is this? It looks like a fragment of a moon seal. Water here should be safe now. Hippus will provide. Hippus does not seem to agree. Hippus will provide.
He is in agreement. Perhaps I ask too much of him. Another moon seal fragment. What is this doing here? If it was here, Autumn would show me. Must not be anything here. Must not be her purview. Blessings of Hippus. Son of Gaia approves. Autumn, show me the
sees our path. You've almost retraced Wanda's steps, Hunter. Which means it's probably time I was honest with you. Things got a bit messy at this point. It was here that Wanda hit a wall, in the literal sense. The gates sealing off your mother's garden seemed all but impervious to any attempt we made at opening them. You would not have given up that easily. Of course not. Wanda was hesitant. But I was emboldened by just how close she had come to succeeding. I strongly encouraged her to keep trying. If I had only stopped to consider the risks. But no. With my guidance, she attempted to use the Moon Seal from Set's trial to force open the gate. Is that even possible? Without the word of power, Set's blessing, Wanda couldn't control the energy within the seal. It responded like these things often do. It exploded. But the gate did not open? No, it didn't. And as an unfortunate side effect of the blast, I was killed. That was the training accident with Wanda? A surprisingly level-headed explanation from the poor girl, considering what she had just witnessed. I was still out of my senses, but that's a story for another time. You died. Wanda was left traumatized, only to be blamed by caretaker and left without anyone to support her? I said things got messy. Perhaps I should have said heartbreaking. In either case, now you know the truth. But what about Sarah and the others? They need to know as well. Given my current situation, I think it may have to wait, dear. If you'd still like to move forward, you'll need to find the shards of the broken moon seal. If all goes well, I should be able to reform the seal. I believe I have found some pieces already. Of course you have. There is one more piece left to find. Mother. Autumn does not answer. Why, hello, Hunter. What is this strange growth on the grounds? While it may seem like some sort of invasive species, the substance we've been calling corruption is actually a physical manifestation of Cathan's dark influence. How can it continue to spread in his absence? The ever-resilient Darkhold keeps his ambitions alive, tempting the lost and desperate towards the darkness. With each new follower, his power here is rekindled. We shall be reunited soon. 
I cannot help but feel excitement. We are standing in front of each other right now. Not here, but in the physical realm. You don't need to be coy. I know you are coming. To where exactly? The Sanctum Santorum. The prophecy advances. As much as it will please me to see you, I beg you not to stand in my way. I cannot guarantee your safety this time. The Sanctum is more than just a stronghold. It is Strange's home. He will never let it go. I once thought that about the Abbey, so many centuries ago. I have said all I can. It is out of my hands now. Actually, it seems to be all in your hands. I wish that were so. But you know the truth. He is closer than ever before. Who is? I would not dare say his name in this place. Still, he will bring us together after so long. Is it selfish of me to say that it's our reunion that matters most? We will see each other soon, Mother. Something has changed with you, Hunter. I can sense it. I wouldn't have thought so, but it's good to hear those bells again after all this time. As hard as Sarah tried to keep you out of the tower, you always found your way back in. Just in time to wake her up at the crack of dawn. Agatha. It's all right, child. You have been through so much. And your mother is calling you back to her. Trying to break anything that stands between you. I am frightened of what will happen if this collar breaks. That's because it's unknown. Even with all my knowledge from beyond the grave, I cannot tell you what will happen. But I have faith in your ability to overcome whatever obstacle Lilith throws at you. Your ancestral powers are awakening and taking root. They would be pleased you are choosing the angels of your better nature. But the real question is, are you pleased? Is this the path you want to continue to walk? Yes, Agatha. This path pleases me. I am confident that the only thing that can defeat darkness is the blinding brilliance of light. Then shine it. Drown out your mother's shadow. I intend to. Just remember, Whoever you choose to be, I accept you. <laughs>